What's up guys, so today I want to talk about LSE versus LSI. And I know what you guys think, why would we discuss borrowing types? Mainly because they're very, very misunderstood. I've mistyped many LSEs as LSIs, and so probably did you. Have you ever looked at Gordon Ramsay and thought, Gordon Ramsay must be an LSI? You're wrong. Shut it and watch. Shut it. He's an LSE. So to, in today's video, I'm going to outline some differences between TE and TI and show you how to spot the differences in those two individuals. Let's start with the archetype of an LSE. What is the archetype like? What's the portrait of one? Think of a good student, grade A student. Look at you playing your cards. Pathetic. We've got final exams coming up soon. I'm ready. Ask me any question. All right. What are the three most crucial ingredients in a forgetfulness potion? Who gets things done, who's very efficient, who expects efficiency from its environment and from other people. The hard truth, that's love. So I'm around all these people. I'm like, nah, dog, you work out every day, but you got them hangers, homeboy. You got them titties, the Madonna cones, baby girl. It's a snacks, fool. Let me give you the answer. Respect the method of how things should be done and he's enforcing of it. That's what you guys need to understand, right? So it already sounds almost like LSI-ish. Indeed, indeed. Your whole life was a lie. They can be short-tempered. Say that again. Yeah, you're yeah. pissed, are you? Look at me. Look at me. Lies. Not as pissed as I am. Donkey. They want to take lead in projects. The very managerial type in that sense. They he knows how to delegate tasks, how to deal with tasks, and how to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do and you do it correctly. So I think they can have tendency to micromanage the environment because again, they're T based. It's externally focused type. On one hand, very boisterous, very intense. They can be loud, they can be uh, aggressive. And on the other hand, they can be serious, they can be cold, they can be grumpy. But in general, again, a, per a person that's or an overachiever who's very diligent. Your excuses are completely valid. I get it. It is cold. They're all completely valid. But if you want to level up, you have to make everything that you want in your life non-negotiable. Right? Doing things by the book. Facts don't care about your feelings. Rigid. That's what LSE is going to be like. Why are we mainstreaming delusion? Disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. It turns out that every chromosome, every cell in Caitlyn Jenner's body is male with the exception of some of his sperm cells. LSE will get a panic attack, a life-ending panic attack, if things don't go as he planned. So that's also a very important quality of an LSE. So there's this severe rigidity in the LSE, even though they're an evaluist. Now, LSE is ordered principled, organized individual who has power of analyzing things in depth. It's an individual who has a very strong logical prowess to understand things deeply. Well, it's some kind of spatial perception. You just, you see in your mind's eye that when you make this move, I mean, if you made this move, it'll be there. And he makes this move, it'll be there. You just sort of see the position as it could be. And on a deeper level, understanding logical systems, right? Being drawn to uh, hierarchies and kind of social systems. That's also something that an LSI can be attracted to. Climbing the, those social systems to get in positions of power, for example. But unlike the LSE, which is, a, again, a Chadwick with no schizophrenia, LSI, do, LSI does suffer from schizophrenia episodes. Breaks of reality are quite common in this type. They're much less practical and much less pragmatic. Now, you're asking me, where does this schizophrenia come from it comes from the fact that they're ti based and they're t ignoring this individual creates their own understanding of the world with their own rigid kind of framework and structure their own subjective right or wrong that's something you guys have to understand okay now unlike the lse in presentation and lsi can seem a bit more stiff more reserved more cautious thank you mr Malfoy. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? Because again, as he is cautious, they're generally again, even though they value Effie, it's it's their suggestive. So much more cautious when you kind of get to know them, not as expressive. But when you when you open them up like a flower. That's when they become much more expressive and more kind of bombastic within the group, but they're still never going to match the en energy of an LSE, which again is much more boisterous in general, which you can kind of confuse them for an SE base sometimes. Another thing that's important to understand here is the differences between TE and TI. 
So Augusta the Sigma male, or Augusta the Sigma female, kind of said that true archetype of a, uh, of a lawyer is TE based because laws, regulations, doing things by the book, having certain rules and procedures, having a method how to do things is not TI. It's peak TE. It's peak extroverted thinking. So following those things, that's very TE. And you, if you know, you guys, guys, everyone watch Harry Potter. Everyone knows who Hermione, Jane, Hermione Granger, Hermione Ginger, whatever her name is, everyone knows her. And what does she do? She's very, very by the book, right? She's following the spell book. She's very known for correcting everyone around her. She's very rigid. You're doing this wrong. You're, you're, you know, you're inept. You're inefficient. You correct this. You should spell it like that. You should spell it like that. That's how it is. She's learned everything very much by the book. It's all external. It's all objective. It's not external. There's no my opinion, my opinion. Maybe you should try it like this. This is how it's said. This is how you should do it. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And that's what the book says. So Hermione Granger does that. And you see that when she was doing this to Harry, oppressing Harry, right? making sure Harry does things by the book and, and he does things how they should be done. And also with the other guy who's like Ginger or something. He's a Ginger, right? So uh, Ron Weasley. It says a very Ginger name overall. Ron Weasley. Whatever. Now T ignoring is, in, in the case of that TI base, is that they will reject external laws. They will re reject external kind of structures societal laws or maybe rules given by society to us that we have to follow things like that is actually not very lsi and lsi might look at it be like yeah i don't really care i have my own code so this is my reply to their order not to defend my title here. That's, that's, my <laughs> that's very much an lsi batman maybe going against the police enforcement in gotham He's breaking the law. He's not really respecting any of the laws at all. He's following his own code of conduct. That's very much a TI approach. And the TE ignoring aspect of things with an LSI, they do tend to reject any new information that doesn't fit in their preconceived kind of uh, framework. So they already have a built-in understanding of a system that they've made based on logic and certain aspects. And if what you're saying of what you're showing them or what they're experiencing is not fitting what they know or what they think is true, they might be they might reject that information. They might be kind of uh, hard to convince. That's also where the any poly comes in, into play. So again, often twisting facts and information, objective reality, or, uh, objective info information to fit their narrative, to fit their agenda. So. The funny thing, arguing with an LSE and LSI is completely different because an LSI purely basing things off his own understanding and he will often twist things to fit his understanding. So there is more of the manipula logical manipulation with the LSI than there is with the LSE who is not oriented towards opinions. He's not oriented towards on his own framework. He's oriented towards what is true. He's oriented towards objectivity. And objective information, which is which makes the LSE much more adaptable when it comes to information. He's much more logical and rational individual. The LSE is uninterested in what you have to say because it makes logical sense. Show me evidence. Show me proof. Where do you see it? Show me data. Show me statistics. Prove it to me. Show me an external information that backs up what you think, not just your opinion because it makes sense to you. You know, as I've said and you've said, there's no such thing as my truth, right? right? There's your opinion and then there's the truth. Again, an LSE archetype, guys, is someone who is very, very externally focused on enforcing the method of perfection, right? Defining the best, most rational way of doing things. And it's very much by the book. That's, it's not even LSI, that's not LSI behavior, that's LSE behavior. You see this behavior in someone like Gordon Ramsay. Goes around what? He has a crea he created a logical formula how food should be done and how he wants it done, and you need to obey that. And he will criticize the way you make food. This is incorrect, this is not, this is not good, why are you doing this? This doesn't, you know, it doesn't add up. So he has things, he created a formula how things should be done. And it's very, it's always focused on the external world. 
right? Or at what temperatures does this freeze? What temperatures? How much heat do you need? How much? It's all TE. It, this is all TE. The SE of both LSI and LSE. Because obviously people will tell you, well, LSEs are docile. They're not aggressive because their SI value is and they, they don't value SE. They don't value SE. They're SE demo. But that doesn't really make sense if you look at real life examples. Who is more aggressive? Gordon Ramsay or Putin? So look at the examples of many LSEs who in their enforcing of the environment can be more pushy. Their SE is higher. Their SE is very high. Now, in their day-to-day -day life, they can be quite friendly, for, you know, quite friendly people. LSE, it's not about power, it's not about territory, it's not about dominance. The SE is there to implement perfection, to implement what needs to be done in the kitchen. It's when they're doing, when they're working on a project, they're managing people. SE might come out. That's just how it is, but it's, it's not valued, so they don't do it to circle jerk their ego or kind of they take more dominance or better position in hierarchy and power over others. That's not really about, that's, they're not about their life. Because the SE is demo, it's, all, it's often running, it's always running. And you combine that with the more extroverted nature, this can make LSEs look much more assertive. It can make them look much more aggressive when the time co comes to it. Again, Wes Watson and Gordon Ramsay. But Wes, when does it get easier? When does the wake up time, when, it doesn't. It will never get easier. It never gets easier. And that's what builds the pride in you. With the LSI, the SC is cautious. They're gonna be more reserved and their SC is not gonna be as blatant and as expressive as someone's like Gordon Ramsay. It's just not gonna happen. Your cautious element is just, as the name says, cautious. It's not in the face. It's used as a tool. It's used as a tool and it's used situationally. That's the funny thing. And see, creative is not used all the time. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. If you have any idea how serious this is, you have risked the exposure of our world. So guys, remember those differences. Don't just look at the C is just goody two shoes, Delta Quadra. No, pay attention to their presentation. Are they focused on enforcing the external laws and the procedure method of things? That's not an LSI. LSI is a schizo geek who has power of analyzing things in depth, but at the end of the day, they're subjective thinkers who follow their own philosophy. That's the biggest difference, external versus internal. That's all you guys need to know. If you have any questions about LSI or LSI, comment down below. Ciao.